Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we are going to talk about the differences in detail between mixers and USB audio interfaces. If you're new to audio recording or have some experience with mixers and USB audio interfaces, then you know that the features and functionality of each of these devices can often blend together. When looking for help, the landscape can be somewhat bewildering, so if you're looking for a simple and straightforward answer or answers in this realm, then you've landed in the right place. Without further ado, let's jump right into it and start off with what USB audio interfaces do. Most computers on the market today are not manufactured to record music. Built-in PC inputs and outputs are often made of cheap components that don't meet the suggested audio recording specifications. With this, you might think of a USB audio interface as a type of external sound card or audio device that allows you to connect your PC to professional audio equipment such as microphones, instruments, and studio monitors. It allows for high quality audio input and output with features such as preamps, analog to digital converters known as ADCs, and digital to analog converters known as DACs that help improve the sound quality. USB audio interfaces typically connect to your computer via a USB cable and they come in various sizes and configurations depending on the number of inputs and outputs required. These devices are commonly used in music production as well as other podcasting and other audio related tasks where high quality audio input and output are needed. Now we'll check out the different types of audio devices that include USB audio interfaces. The first is an audio mixer. Now, USB audio interfaces can be integrated into audio mixers to provide high quality recording playback capabilities. Number two, microphones. Some microphones come with built-in USB audio interfaces, which allows them to be directly connected to your PC without requiring additional hardware. Number three, Studio monitors. Some studio monitors have built-in USB audio interfaces, which allows them to be directly connected to your computer for professional audio output. Number four, digital audio workstations, or better known as DAWs. USB audio interfaces are often required with DAWs to provide professional level audio input and output capabilities. If you're not using a USB audio interface with your doll, then you probably should be. Number five, instruments. Some instruments such as electric guitars and keyboards can be connected to a USB audio interface for high quality recording and playback. Overall, USB audio interfaces are versatile devices that can be used with a wide range of audio equipment to provide professional audio input and output for your music productions. Let's now take a look at what audio mixers do. Audio mixers, also known as mixing consoles, soundboards, or mixing desks, are electronic devices that are used to combine and adjust the levels of multiple audio signals. These signals can come from various sources such as microphones, instruments, and other devices that play back audio. Audio mixers allow the user to adjust items like signal levels, EQ, and the effects for each input individually, and then combine them into a single output signal. This output signal can then be sent to speakers, recording devices, or other audio equipment. Mixers come in a variety of sizes and types, ranging from small portable models with just a few channels to large studio concert mixing consoles with dozens of channels and extensive routing options. 
Audio mixers are used in a wide range of applications, from recording studios to live concerts to radio and television broadcasts. Let's check out some of the most common types of audio mixers. The first is analog mixers. These mixers use analog circuitry to process audio signals. They're known for their warm, natural sound and are often preferred by the quote unquote audio purists. Analog mixers can range from small portable models to large multi-channel consoles. Moving on to number two are digital mixers. Digital mixers use digital signal processing or DSP to manipulate audio signals. They offer a wide range of features and can be highly flexible and customizable. Digital mixers can also incorporate networking capabilities, allowing them to communicate with other audio equipment and software. Number three are powered mixers. These mixers incorporate power amplifiers, allowing them to drive speakers directly without the need for a separate amplifier. They're often used in small sound systems for portable applications. Number four are DJ mixers. DJ mixers are designed specifically for use by DJs and include features such as crossfaders, EQ controls, and effects processing. They may have built-in sampling and looping capabilities. Number five, are broadcast mixers. These mixers are designed for use in radio and television broadcasting and include features such as talkback, queuing, and routing options for multiple audio sources. Number six is live sound mixers. Live sound mixers are designed for use in live performances and events. They may include features such as multiple effects processors, EQ controls, and built-in compressors and limiters. Number seven are studio mixers. Studio mixers are designed for use in recording studios and often include high quality preamps, routing options, and advanced monitoring capabilities. Please keep in mind that each type of mixer has its own pros and cons and the choice of the mixer will depend on the specific requirements of the user. In summary, a USB audio interface and an audio mixer are two different types of equipment used for audio processing, recording, and playback. The main difference between the two is their functionality and purpose. Keep that in mind, the functionality and purpose. A USB audio interface is a device that connects to a PC or other digital device via USB and allows for recording and playback of audio signals. It usually features high quality audio converters and preamps which can provide better sound quality compared to the built-in audio interface of a PC or digital device. A USB audio interface is often used in home studios for podcasting or live streaming and other audio recording and production tasks. An audio mixer is a device used to combine multiple audio signals into a single output. It is multiple channels, each with its own controls for volume, equalization, and other audio effects. Audio mixers are often used in recording studios and live sound reinforcement where it's used to mix multiple audio sources, such as microphones, instruments, and playback devices to create a balanced and professional sound output. The bottom line here is that USB audio interfaces are primarily used for recording and playback, while an audio mixer is primarily used for sound mixing. <laughs> That's the simplest I can say it. However, keep in mind that there are also audio interfaces that include mixing capabilities. 
And there are mixers that can also be used as audio interfaces, which can blur the lines between the two devices. Well, friends, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every 7 to 14 days, and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what you think about this content. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and TikTok. While you're here, check out some of the other music, videos, and playlists, and especially the playlists because they're designed just for you. Thanks so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.